What's going on, Sacktown? Sacktown Pete, back at it again. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. After a thriller that the Kings won last night, uh, they just didn't have it tonight. Um, final score from Golden 1, the Clippers 131, the Sacramento Kings 117. Um, just overall, the effort was not there. Um, you know, I give them credit for try to make a run the second half and try to get back in this game. You know, De'Aaron Fox was lights out. He had a second 40 piece of the night. Of the, I mean, excuse me, second 40 piece of the season with the 40 point performance tonight, but it just wasn't enough. Um, there's not enough from everywhere. Uh, never, nobody else contributed other than Fox. And, you know, it's just uh, frustrating because you have a 40 piece performance from De'Aaron Fox and it shows in a losing effort. But give the Clippers credit. Every time we try to make a run the second half, uh, they had a an answer for every Sacramento Kings run. And you got to give them credit. They played lights out tonight. And let's talk about the numbers of the starting five. Fox had 40 points. He had three assists. He had five rebounds. Uh, 38 minutes tonight for De'Aaron Fox. He shot a lot better from the free throw line tonight than he compared to last night. He was 9 of 10 tonight. Uh, 3 of 8 from downtown. And overall, 14 23 from the field. Sabonis so was just um, not himself tonight. 31 minutes for Domas. 11 points, 5 boards, 3 assists, um, a minus 19. 3 of 12 overall and 2 of 3 from downtown. He was 3 of 4 from the free throw line. But Domas was just, hasn't been himself the last two games. Um, not sure what's going on, but he legit was not a very good player on the court tonight. Um, Harrison Barnes, 34 minutes tonight. He had 9 points, uh, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, 3 of 7 overall from HB. Uh, Kevin Herter in 26 minutes tonight. He had seven points, five boards, five assists for Kayvon. And he was three of seven overall from the field. Uh, Chris Duarte got to start again tonight for Keegan Murray, who's missed his uh, fourth straight game with the back injury. And Duarte had seven points in 13 minutes. He also had three rebounds and he had zero assists. Uh, let's take a look at the bench. Trey Lyles, 18 minutes for Trey tonight. He only had two points. He was one of five overall from the field. Sasha Vizenkov continues to shine and continues to impress me, man. 24 minutes for Vezenkov tonight, 13 points for Vezenkov, five boards, zero assists, um, just five, five, seven overall from the field, three, five from downtown. I love the fact that he's getting minutes and um, he's getting more comfortable and being a part of the rotation is really good for Sasha Vezenkov. So hopefully he keeps that up. So Lawson got a minute towards the end of the game. He had zero points. Uh, Kessler Edwards got seven minutes tonight. He had zero points. He had one rebound. JaVale McGee got five minutes tonight. He had two points. Uh, Davion Mitchell had 13 minutes tonight, and he had nine points, three assists, two rebounds. I thought he played really well tonight. You know, I thought Davion Mitchell played really, really well in the minutes that he got tonight. Uh, Malik Monk in 28 minutes, he had 15 points, uh, two assists, four rebounds. Jordan Ford and Kobe Jones both got a minute each towards the end of the game. Kobe Jones had two points, and Jordan Ford had zero points. Overall from the field, you know, we shot 46% from the field, 13 of 41 from beyond the arc. That's not a good number to be at. It's 37, 31%. And the free throw shooting was a lot better tonight. Um, 24, 28 from the line, which was 85%. Um, you know, I'm not the one to make excuses for, uh, you know, second half of the back-to-backs, but that's what it was tonight. The Kings definitely looked like they were depleted. From the, having that emotional, hard-fought win against the Warriors last night. And um, that showed tonight. Um, I can guarantee you, the game that we play, next time we play the Clippers, they will see a different Sacramento Kings team. I can guarantee you that. Make no mistake about it. Um, like I said, De'Aaron Fox was the only one who came through in the second half while everybody else did not step up. And you know what? I give Clippers credit. They took advantage of us being on the second night of a back-to-back. James Harden was James Harden, Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. Those three um, are legit. You know, they were coming off a terrible loss the other night and they bounced back tonight. And, you know, great players find ways to bounce back tonight. That uh, After a crappy performance, great players find their way to bounce back. And that's what the Clippers players did tonight. They had an answer for every Sacramento Kings run the second half. And got to give credit where it's due, man. But I can assure you, uh, next time the Kings play... The Clippers, um, I actually am looking forward to the next matchup because I know we're better than what we were tonight. And I can assure you, uh, the Clippers will see a lot. We'll see a different Sacramento Kings team next time they play. So with that being said, guys, don't have much else to talk about tonight. Uh, we are 10-7 on the season. 
Uh, our next game is Saturday night against the Denver, a very good Denver Nuggets basketball team. Uh, I am looking forward to that game. I'm looking forward to seeing how we play and how we bounce back from this loss tonight. And uh, got to bounce back on Saturday. Let's try to get a win on Saturday at home against the Denver Nuggets. So with that being said, guys, I want to hear you guys. I want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. That's going to do it for tonight's video. I really do appreciate you guys tuning in. You guys take care. God bless. Have yourself a great night. Keep pushing forward. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.